Hey guys, I'm Lee Sheps and welcome to Up With The Curtain, where on this show, the curtain goes sideways. I'm joined by Lauren Zachrin, Hi. who Hi. is starring as the Marsha Ethan Brady <laughs> as Catherine in Cruel Intentions Off-Broadway. Yes, I am. How exciting is this for you? It's so much fun. It's great. Every day we're having a party. Everyone I work with is amazing, and the show is so much fun. So. This is a show that we both grew up watching yes. in the 90s as yes. young kids, and now you're playing this part. How does that feel for you? Um, it's pretty cool. Um, when I was watching it as a kid, I was probably a little too young to understand it, so now as an adult, it's exciting to step into the role of Catherine and really get to understand the darkness and the ugliness of the characters. It's fun. And I think a lot of people don't realize, and what I didn't realize when I saw the show was that, we're giving a spoiler away, that it's interspersed with 90s songs to oh, make this a musical. spoiler. Well, it was that's to me. A selling it point. was to me. It was to me because I didn't look it up before okay. I came. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a selling point. So, how was that for you singing all these great 90s hits? I mean, the audience when I was there loved it. Yeah, I mean, I love it. I grew up listening to 90s music obviously and was a huge fan of Meredith Brooks and Alanis Morissette and Christina Aguilera, so now that I get to sing their music and get paid for it is a dream. And you were telling me earlier a story about one of the songs in the show that you get to sing. Oh yeah, I was talking about Genie in a Bottle. Um, I'm pretty sure it was in elementary school when the song came out and um, at the end of the month in choir class you got to like sing a song in front of the class and at that age I chose Genie in a Bottle and I sung Good it choice. to my choir class Good choice. and I got in trouble and they emailed my parents and told them that I sang an inappropriate song in front of the class. We should really email that teacher now and be like, hey, just a point, I'm still right? singing that song. Right? Uh, what's it like, the other day you had Sarah Michelle Gellar in the audience. Yes. What was that like for you? Um, it was awesome. It's so amazing that she supports our show and this project. Um, but I was a little bit nervous. I don't get starstruck that often. Uh, but when you're playing someone's role, there's just like a different amount of pressure and you really want to do them proud and do it justice. Uh, so I definitely got nervous having her there. But after the show, she was super complimentary and supportive. And she had a nice message for you on Instagram. She did have a nice message on Instagram. And it was, was it hard to have her in the audience? I know you were nervous. Yeah. You, said, you didn't even, you tried not to look at her. I mean, I, I tried to like tune her out and not let it get to me. But at the same time, I feel like I felt some extra confidence having her there. You know, like I'm sure she was supporting me and sending me good vibes the whole time. And I want to ask you also, you know, that famous kiss scene yes. in the movie. How was yes. that? How was it's that? good. It's super fun. Uh, I get to do it with Jesse Shelton, and she's amazing, and we've become really good friends. So we're totally comfortable doing it, but it was so funny. We started doing the kiss scene on the second day of rehearsal or something like right that. So we're like it. introducing each other, yeah. and they're like, right, hey, let's, let's make, make out. out. Yeah. Oh, but it's great. The audience loves it. Oh my gosh. And uh, so, you know, you, you said you don't really get nervous around celebrities. Who in the Broadway world do you idolize that you've looked up to as a, as a kid growing up and, and now aspire to be? Wow. Oh, no. I always feel embarrassed saying these kind of things oh, I can't for some wait. reason. I can't wait. Oh, it's not bad. Um, I love Sarah Boggess so oh. much. <laughs> I'm obsessed with her voice. I'm obsessed with Phantom and everything she's ever done. And I think that she has a wonderful message and mottos and morals for young people aspiring to be amazing. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so I want to ask. I was, I'm so obsessed that we had to talk about this. The Legally Blonde, The Search for the Next Elwoods on Broadway. The whole title. Yes. That was, can you believe, 10 years ago? Almost 10 years ago. What do you remember about taping that show? Um, it still kind of feels like a weird fever dream because I was so young when I did it and I kind of just got like, thrown into this whirlwind. Um, but I remember it being really stressful and scary and kind of feeling like I was drowning. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Uh, but obviously it was an amazing opportunity that led to many doors being open for many years. And even though you didn't win, Bela Hanks won, you yes. did, were offered to play the I got to go on tour, I got to understudy on tour, and I got to go with Rhiannon Hansen also. Oh, yeah. Um, I eventually got to play the role and play it regionally. Um, so. It's all panned out. Wow. All right, so now it's time for the 11 o'clock number where we're going to play the Broadway Rorschach game. Lauren's really nervous, guys, so <laughs> let's cheer her on. This is my worst nightmare. So I'm going to hold up a playbill. She used to say whatever comes to her, her mind when she's What am I going look? I refuse. I got four. I got four. It'll be fun. Ready? Uh, right. The first one. Rent. Rent. Say the first thing that comes to my mind. Yeah. Um, sad. All right, that's the first answer. Okay, next. It's sad. It makes you cry. I don't have any oh. Sarah Vargas things in here, but okay, next one. This, this oh my God, Australia! Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> is this, am I doing okay. okay? Yeah, good. All right, this one will be hard. Thou shalt not. Should I know what this is? 
Kate Levering was in this? Don't know it. Okay. Great playbill. I, I just dug them out of my closet. All right, and the last one, The Addams Family. Oh, um, I'm going to say Courtney Wolfson because she's a friend of mine and she played Wednesday on Broadway and I love her. All right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. <laughs>